Okay. So, uh, so just so the people don't know, because we might have younger people that don't even know who Vin Diesel is. So Fast and Furious, man, it's a franchise that has been popping for a number of years. And if you're any type the of the first like, one came out like early two thousand, yeah, early two thousand. If you're like a car fan, you're into like speed, into action movies. That's one that you want to watch. Anyhow. So, we have his wiki up? Yeah, we do. Let's pull up with Vin Diesel real quick. One Here of the biggest is. stars in actual Fast and Furious, the franchise, is Vin Diesel. And this guy's been in the franchise for a number of years. Uh has been going for damn near 20 years, Some right? of the biggest scenes with Paul Walker, as we know it. He's a legend in the game. Damn, right? he was born 67? Yeah, he's 50, God uh, six years damn. old. damn. He's pretty old. Holy. All but right. This, this guy is a man, a manly man, man of men. Uh, he's one of the guys that you look up to as a superhero in the movie because yeah. he's Vin Diesel. Mark Sinclair, uh, born July 18, 1967, uh, known professionally as Vin Diesel, is an American actor and film producer, one of the world's highest grossing actors. He is best known for playing Dominic Toretto in the Fast and the Furious franchise. Born in California, Diesel attended NYC's Hunter College, where studies in creative writing uh, uh, led, led him to begin screenwriting. He wrote, directed, produced, and starred in the short drama film Multifacial in 1995. In his debut, Strays, 1997, he came to prominence in the late 90s, and first became known for appearing in Steven Spielberg's uh, Saving Private Ryan. Uh, Saving Private Ryan in 1998. He followed up with the commercially successful films such as Boiler Room, The P uh, Pacifier, and Find Me Guilty in 06. He gained stardom as a leading action star, headlining numerous franchises including Fast and Furious, Triple X, and The Chronicles of Riddick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I remember. I forgot about those movies. All those movies are a little uh, are older. They came out in the um, early 2000s. Yeah. Um, his voice acting work includes The Iron Giant 99, the video games Chronicles of Riddick uh, 2004, um, The Chronicles of Riddick Assault in the Dark uh, Athena 2009, and The Voices of Groot and Groot 2 in the Marvel Cinematic Universe MCU. He portrayed the characters in six superhero films, beginning with the Guardians of the Galaxy in 2014. Diesel wow. has reprised his role as Groot for the Disney Plus animated short series I Am Groot 2022 to present, the television special The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special 2022, and the animated film Ralph Breaks the Internet. And then he also founded the production company One Race Films, where he has also served as a producer and executive producer for his star vehicles. Diesel also found the record label Racetrack Records and video game developer Tygon Studios, providing his voice and motion capture for all of Tygon's you releases. You know what's most surprising for me about Vin Diesel? Quite a fucking resume, huh? His name is Mark. I didn't know yeah, his name was Mark, was like, bro. Who the hell is Mark? Mark Sinclair. I was like, nigga, this isn't your name Vin Diesel? What the fuck's going on? Yeah. But it's not. It's Mark Sinclair. Yeah. So, wow. um, yeah, guys. Um, but he's, definitely... cur he's, cur he's currently married to Paloma uh, Jimenez. He has three kids. Uh, he's, he's a family man, you know? He's yeah. uh, done his career. Since 07. Yeah. So he's a family guy. Yeah. So he's been in the game for a very long time, guys. Um, you know, for some of you guys that are like Gen Z, you might not like know who he is too much because yeah. most of his biggest movies came out in the early 2000s. But I remember like this guy was the fucking top dog back in like. Oh, you know, oh four, oh five, oh three. I think the fast, the first. When the first Fast and Furious come out, like oh three. I can you look it up, Mo, real fast. The first. I one? will say this though. Rest in peace to Paul Walker, man. He was oh, also yeah, yeah, legend yeah. too in yep. Fast and Furious. Um, any car guy that watches movies or stuff like that knows of Paul Walker or even the movie itself. So two thousand one, two thousand one. There you go. Damn. Wow. He died, he actually died in a car crash too. Uh, Paul Walker. Yeah, he died in a car crash. Yeah. yeah. Rest in peace to him. Yeah. Wow, man, this is crazy. Um, yeah, and then The Rock ended up coming on later. Yeah. Uh, and then Ludacris and uh, Tyrese and all Luda. these guys. What are they up to? Like, Fast and the Fierce, like, 12 or some shit? Yeah, I think 10. 10? They S just something. Hit 10. They're milking that franchise. With I know. John, with John Cena. They bro, were. They, they're, John <laughs> they Cena's were. in and out, too? John Cena. Like, Bruh. I think he started with the ninth. Yeah. Yo, they, they, yo there's, I can't believe it's still going. But uh, I thought they were going to be done after Paul Walker passed. But... Now they kept it going. Yeah, they kept it going. But recently in the news, what's happening is yes. right now, <laughs> currently, there's a civil lawsuit against Vin Diesel, a.k.a. Yeah. Mark Sinclair, because- Keyword a, civil. Yeah. A woman <laughs> used to be his ex-employee for like, no, nine days. when he was doing, Nine shooting, days? Yeah. When he was shooting for uh, Fast and Furious, alleged that he sexually assaulted her, basically, you know, sexual assault. And um, yeah, that's going on right now. Viral. So right now we're going to break it down in this article here, but it just sucks because at this point he's a legend in his own right, and to bring in this bullshit right yeah, now, you bro, guys are seen as it's crazy, bro. So he's going viral because of this shit. Now we'll talk about why it was brought up as well. Man, she wants some money, man. Yeah, she wants some money, bro. Uh, so Vanity Fair goes: Vin Diesel accused of sexual battery in lawsuit by former assistant. I want to make this very clear for you guys. 
This is a civil case, which means it is not criminal, which means he's not going to go to jail if he's found liable, okay? Um, the difference between civil and criminal guys is when you're doing a criminal case, you know, you got to be found guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, which if we're going to put in a percentage, like maybe 90% sure, right? And, you you know, the jury will find you guilty. But in a civil case, all that needs to be found is something called preponderance of the evidence, which yeah. pretty much means 51% versus 49%. So it can get really close when it comes to the margins here. So in this situation, the burden of proof isn't that high to reach for the person making the accusation. And let's be honest here, guys. We saw Diddy go through this. We've seen other celebrities go through this. A lot of the times what they'll do is to just deal with this problem is just settle out of court, give them the, pay them their money, and just walk away from it because um, it's expensive, it's costly, it's a pain in the ass to actually go through with a trial and deal with this. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, no. they, they, these people know what they're doing when they come up with the civil lawsuits. Also, it's bad because let's say you do settle with these harlots, these uh, mm -hmm. juveniles. Um, you're basically saying to them, you know what? I concede I'm negotiating with this terrorist because once you give her that money for that actual case, guess what happens? Other ladies come up and say, oh, yeah. he did that to me. Look, 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 look at Diddy now, bro, with Cassie. He gave her what she wanted. Yeah. What's happening with Diddy? Another Everyone's girl came forward. Work, bro. Yeah, another girl came crazy. out. Yep. So it's almost like when you negotiate with, with these whores, bro, you can't and win. And this is how it normally works, too, just so you guys know. Like, the woman, a lot of the times, her lawyer will contact their team and tell them, look, we're planning to file a lawsuit, mm -hmm. right, um, for X, Y, Z, like this, in this case, maybe a sexual, sexual assault, whatever. Yeah. Um, we want this much money, and we won't go public with it. A lot of times they say, go pound sand. And then they go and they to the say, news, All right, cool. They go to TMZ. Outlets. One of the first things they do is run a TMZ. Yeah. Hey, we're following this lawsuit, etc. Make it a big story, and then boom, they put pressure on the celeb to uh to um you know pay them off or you know what they're gonna do. Cause once here's the thing, like Diddy basically told Cassie go pound sand. Yeah. Literally. He knew this shit was coming, right? His team to go pound sand, and then once he actually once it actually hit the news, and he saw how it uh hurt his image he was like you know what fuck this shit i want to deal with this i got the money to deal with this what she asked for like 20 million or some shit i think 30 million 30 million he was like man uh, he a billionaire bro so he's like all right whatever man Here, here's some but fucking sean john I stock i think he might have <laughs> re regretted basically actually not fighting it because bro look what's happening now bro he's getting the lab, that's always lab a risk based. that's always a risk you know what i mean uh you know we've seen di this happen with trump right mm -hmm. you know this happened with a lot of guys uh it, it's starting to get crazy out here um so let's go back to the article here. Um, so a former assistant to Vin Diesel filed a lawsuit in Los Angeles today alleging, and this was, uh, what day was this? I think five days ago. So this was um, December 21st, 2023. Okay. So mid-December, basically. She, a former assistant to Vin Diesel filed a lawsuit in Los Angeles today alleging that the Fast and Furious star sexually battered her while she was working for him in the fall of 2010 during the filming of Fast Five. Diesel's attorney, Brian Friedman, um... Responded. Responded to Vanity Fair's request for a comment with the following statement. Let me be very clear. Vin Diesel categorically denies this claim in its entirety. This is the first he's ever heard about this more than 13-year-old claim made by a purported nine-day employee. There is clear evidence which completely refutes the outlandish allegations. So you're telling me we scroll a nine-day employee had the power to come out 13 years later to That's sue wild, right? your ass. Wow. In the lawsuit filed in Los Angeles and obtained by Vanity Fair, plaintiff Asta Jonathan uh, states that she was hired by Diesel's company, One Race, to work for the actor on location in Atlanta where Fast Five was in production. The suit describes uh, Johnson, uh, Jonathan, uh, I'll just call her Jay, as a recent film school program graduate at the time whose job responsibilities included organizing parties, accompanying Diesel to parties, and ensuring that she was in close physical proximity to him in case photographs were taken of him with women when he attended events without his longtime girlfriend. Interesting. Okay. Uh, the suit alleges that late one night in September 2010, Jay was asked to wait in Diesel's suite at the St. Regis Hotel while he entertained hostesses he had brought back from the club. Um, can you um, enlarge it a little bit for me, Bills? Once the okay. other women... Uh, once the other women were gone, the lawsuit claims Diesel grabbed Ms. J's wrist, one with each of his hands, and pulled her onto the bed. She asked him to stop, escaped his grasp, and waited by the front door of the suite for him to leave. Okay. Um, instead, the lawsuit says he again approached John J and began to grope her breasts and kiss her chest despite her 
please uh, to please to stop. Miss J was uh, afraid to more forcibly refuse her supervisor, knowing that getting him out of the room was both crucial to her personal safety and job security. The suit continues, but this hope died when Vin Diesel dropped to his knees, pushed Miss Johnson's dress up and toward her waist, and molested her body, running his hands over Miss J's upper legs, including her inner thighs. Uh, according Whoa. to a lawsuit, one Diesel once Diesel moved to pull down her underwear, Jay screamed and ran down the hallway toward the bathroom where Diesel pinned her to the wall, placing her hand on his erect penis. Even as she verbally refused, he masturbated the stu alleges while terrified. Jay closed her eyes, trying to dissociate from the sexual assault and avoid angering him. Okay, so obviously very graphic description of what's going on here. Um, but they have to do that in the suit, obviously. Uh, hours later, the suit alleges Samantha Vincent, Diesel's sister and the president of One Race, called Jay to terminate her employment after less than two weeks on the job. It was clear that she was being fired because she was no longer useful. Diesel had used her to fulfill his sexual desires, and she had roasted, resisted his sexual assaults, according to the suit, which says that Jay's self-esteem was demolished, and she questioned her own skills and whether a successful career would require her to trade her body for advancements. Bruh. This was not the first inappropriate incident that occurred while Jay was working for Diesel, according to the lawsuit. Just a few days before, Jay's suit alleges another one-race supervisor summoned her to his room at the St. Regis while she was on duty, where he took off his shirt, got into bed, and said, come here. Johnson immediately exited the room, according to the suit. On top of sexual battery, the lawsuit claims, among the other things, discrimination on the basis of sex, gender, intentional affliction of emotional distress, hostile work environment, wrongful termination. Uh, scroll down. Uh, wrongful termination, uh, yeah, um, and retaliation accuses Diesel and his production uh, of an attempted cover up and states that Jay had suffered and continues to suffer humiliation and most of the stress and mental and physical pain and anguish. According to the lawsuit, having signed a non disclosure agreement when she took the one race position, Jay maintained her silence over the ensuing years. I was about to say, didn't they make her sign an NDA? The suit says that she was able to file the claims thanks to Speak Out Act, which prevents the enforcement of non-disclosure, um, which prevents the enforcement of non-disclosure agreements in instances of sexual assault and harassment in California's AB 2777, which temporarily waives statutes of limitations for sexual abuse allegations occurring in 2009 or later. The suit also says that she was empowered by the Me Too and Times Up movements which inspired her to reclaim her agency and justice for the suffering she endured at the hands of Vin Diesel and One Race. Johnson went on to work in the entertainment industry as an assistant and production coordinator, among other roles. Diesel, who was born Mark Sinclair, is best known for his roles as Dominic Toretto, blah, 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 which we read. And uh, that is basically the end of that. So, yeah, guys. um, So, you know, this is another example of, you know, Me Too. See, here's here's Paul, right? (laughs) Coming. I... I agree. If you did something fucked up to a girl, yeah, which is basically sexual assault, yeah, you should be punished for it, hundred percent. However, agree. Thirteen years later, why can't you say that the same week or month? What was so bad you couldn't say? You know what? This is messed up. I feel unjust. I feel like I've, I've been violated. Let me call the police now. Why wait thirteen years? But you know what? Diddy and Cassie. Yep. All these cases in, in New York. Yeah. Oh, you know in what? New York. Real quick, Bills. Uh, can you Google uh, New York statute of limitations, yeah. sexual assault, civil? So, this um, is 2010, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, in New York, guys, um, we didn't cover it, but I, I know, we covered it briefly, actually. Yeah. There was a flurry of civil cases that came forward uh, for sexual assault. The mayor of New York got accused, Junior a bunch Gooding. of celebrities. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Cuba Gooding Jr. Yeah. Um, a couple of different um, celebrities got yeah. accused. I can't Diddy in that same week, yeah. like a bunch of them, like a blanket um, of uh, a blanket uh, lawsuit basically that hit a bunch of different celebrities um, for this type of stuff. And um, here we go. A bunch of them got accused. And the reason why, guys, is that there was a law put in place that um, expired recently. I think it expired like in November or something like that. It, it, it so was for, for one year. Yeah, for, it was like for one year. So all these girls came forward and just started um, making accusations on a bunch of celebrities in New York. Yo, and we kind of see something going on like that in California as well. Yo, bro, I swear. You know those commercials on TV where they say, if you've been ever injured or <laughs> hurt on a job. Close yeah, number. yeah, yeah. Those Yo, ambulance chaser lawyers. This probably uh, had to happen on yeah. TV. If you've ever been in, in with a celebrity that has ever touched you, call this number. Yeah. 
do a civil lawsuit. We got you. Yeah. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. That's wild. Um, so it's it's just crazy, man, that uh that but, that statute of limitations pretty much prompted a bunch of girls to come out of nowhere. One chick uh, made an accusation from like the eighties. Yo, 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 bro. I promise you, bro, this is like literally reverse wealth transfer. We're like they're just taking money from niggas with, that have money, that are celebrities, yep. doing using women as 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 a tool. Because if you look at it, why are they getting attacked now, years later? Like, what's the point? But again, that clause or that actual law with the actual statute of limitations being cut off is crazy. Yeah, F- find the uh, bills if you can. Just find an article. Type in new, uh, "celebrities in New York accused of sexual assault" in you know, like in short span, something like that. And I made a and joke. And you'll see, like how a bunch you, of them got accused. How do you dude. fight these allegations? Well, there's one. You can't. Way. Hold on, hold on. You can one way. You can. Oh. Here's how. Never, ever, be in a room with a woman. There you go. Problem solved. But is that realistic? No. Yeah, yeah. You're fucked. Yeah. No, bro, I'm telling you. Like, nobody's yeah. safe, bro. And here's this other is thing, crazy. too. Like, a lot of these accusations are coming, like, before the advent of, like, you know, sophisticated smartphone technology. Yeah. Right? Because even 2010, just so y'all know, in 2010, the iPhone, like, 5 had just come out. Mm. Instagram wasn't a thing. Facebook was kind of a thing. Like, 2010, even though that was only 13, uh, 13 years ago, like, social media wasn't a thing. Um, you know, the cloud, all this stuff. Like, are you going to even have text messages from 2010? I don't know. You know, uh, but dude, it's getting wild out here how um, these girls are coming out of nowhere. And then for all the people that are being accused of like shit from the early 2000s or the 90s or the 80s, like Trump, for example, as you guys know, he got accused by some chicken like the mid 90s of him, like allegedly doing some shit to her in a fitting room. And, it, yo, it's just crazy, man. This might sound weird. Fake news. This, this might sound weird, but I think just in my head, this might be a random thought, maybe a bad thought, maybe. I think maybe sometimes these women actually enjoyed this amount of power coming at them if it was true. Yeah. And see, oh, this is awesome. This yeah. is great. He's, he wants me. I feel great. Yeah. Then when years pass, their clothes gone, their regular person up pretty much. That person ignores them. Uh, you know what? I can get some money right now. I'm broke. Let's just file a lawsuit. I, I just think like, is that the mindset of these women, bro? Like, like what's going on, bro? It's like. Well, it's easy payday. It really is because they're going to settle, bro. A lot of times they're just going to settle. It's cheaper to just settle. But just putting it in the news what it just distorted their like whole rap. Like Kobe Bryant's accuser, she's she's she sued him too. And there's no recourse and they settled. to the actions. Like yeah. you, could, you could do a lawsuit. Then she made a rap song about it. About getting she made a rap song after getting great by uh Kobe. That's wild, bro. How do you fight back without l- losing your reputation? Like you can't. You can't. I I, I the what the, the one thing, only positive thing I could see from this is that I think people are starting to wake up now and like there's like a new Me Too case coming out like every fucking week. I think people are catching on and it's like, bro, yo, this is this is fucking cat. I thought about hiring a female female assistant. Fuck that shit, bro. <laughs> nah, bro, I'm a hire I'm a hire Mo. <laughs> I shouldn't Mo can't fit. Never mind. But the point is that, like, bro, if you have in any situation been around a female of maybe yeah, nobody's safe employee, maybe it's a friend of a friend. Do I have the article? You can be held liable if you ever touch her or even like make an advance. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. Look, uh, look. So celebrities, politicians, among those named in sex abuse suits filed under NY's Adult Survivors Act. Okay, scroll down. Rumble's back, by the yeah, way. Yeah, Rumble's back. Rumble chat is back. Uh so you got Donald Trump, right? Was one. Uh who else? Obviously, Diddy uh, Sean Diddy Combs, you know that we talked about that with Cassie. The question is uh Harvey Weinstein. It? Not surprised there though. Uh, oh yeah, well. Jamie Foxx. Oh, yeah, I forgot he got... Yeah, he got accused, too. Um, let's see. Isn't what that a, crazy, bro? Steven Tyler. Bill Cosby. Not surprised. Pudding. Uh, Russell Brand. Yep. Yep. Uh, L.A. Reid. Damn. Axl Rose. Uh, lead singer for um, Guns N' Roses. Mike Tyson. He got accused again? Damn. Uh, <laughs> Andrew Como. That nigga look good fuck, bro. Neil Portnow. Shout out to Mike Tyson. Rudy Giuliani. Damn, bro. Wow. They they miss Rudy. Uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. too. Rudy, bro. But yeah, man. Like, bro, it, it's it's getting wild out here, bro. Like how um how these girls are like coming forward. And it, it, you really can't defend yourself because it's your word against theirs. And we live in a world where it's like, believe all women. Like, there's literally a hashtag that says believe all women, bro. Future said it. It's the evil world world that we live in. Yeah. He told the future. You like that one? All right. But yeah, um, we have a video to play as well. It kind of yeah. depicts this in more detail. Yeah. 
Um, Let's so run the clip. Play the clip, please. If you don't mind, guys. It's scary, bro. Hey, it's pretty funny, right? Even the Cosby thing was kind of BS, man. Bro. Like, the chick that, the, the main accuser that they used, like, bro, she bought him Christmas gifts. <laughs> she was like, a, I think, a, like a Temple basketball player or some shit like that. <sighs> bro, she was like, she was buying that nigga Christmas gifts, man. He had a perfect career until that. Do you imagine nigga eating some pudding with the Christmas sweater on? Mm, you know, with her? <laughs> and then bitch want to come back 30 years later and say, oh, yeah, this nigga uh, fucking uh, hey, Bill, sexually assaulted me. I need some money. <laughs> no, have yeah. some pudding. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga said there's some pudding and she got tight. <laughs> nigga, I'm going to sue your ass. <laughs> God damn. I'm not going to lie. Yo. Is Cosby guilty or not? I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I wasn't there. I yeah. can't say that. Niggas call him Pill Cosby. <laughs> oh, God. That's, that's somebody's super chat name, remember? Pill oh, yeah, Cosby. Pill, Co Pill Cosby. Where is he? <laughs> Nigga, where are you? Oh, man. He's, oh, probably, he's probably fresh his balls, though. Yeah, he's fresh his bathroom light. Yeah, or, but fresh, yeah he fresh his bathroom light, which is probably on. Yo, speak. Actually, it's off today. Okay. There you go, niggas. Nice. <laughs> Y'all got fresh uh, closing all his shook. lights out before he leaves. I was shook. <laughs> How'd you know that? Okay, here's the video. Vin Diesel is one of the most successful actors of all time where his movies made $14 billion, but now he's being sued and facing a cancel movement. And Vin Diesel has had a lot of people question his behavior with staff in the past, with one example being Dwayne Johnson, who said Vin Diesel is one of the most unprofessional people he ever worked with. This led to a full-scale public feud between the two actors, with Vin Diesel saying Dwayne Johnson just doesn't want to become a better actor, and Dwayne Johnson saying the entire cast supported him over Vin Diesel. Then Vin Diesel was called creepy for an interview in 2018, where he said he wouldn't answer questions because the woman interviewing him was too beautiful and offered to take her out for dinner. During the interview, instead of answering questions about the movie, movie decided to get out of seat and crawl to the woman interviewing him. And now Vin Diesel's facing a much more serious accusation from his former assistant Ace to Jonasson saying in 2010 he assaulted her in her hotel room. Making the claim she refused to sleep with Vin Diesel so he pinned her against a wall and began pleasuring himself while feeling up her body. And then nine hours later she got a phone call from Samantha Vincent who's the president of Vin Diesel's production company as well as his sister saying she was fired. And now 13 years later she Bro, is suing pause. Vin Diesel demanding compensation for- Look. Pause. But that, that just doesn't even seem feasible. <laughs> Thank you. Well, how, how you sitting there, right? You you put her one arm like this, then you, you're rubbing one out. Like, come on, man. Bro, she could have like, yo, like, from, from like a... Uh, Bro, who jerks off? Like, pause, 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 pause. But like, yo, like, how could you even pull that off? <laughs> From a from a, like a, yeah. 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 like yo, like, like, yo it's actually like this it is it's weird that I'm even thinking like because in my head I'm like yo that doesn't sound feasible like physically possible logically like, let's figure like, this from out from a logical standpoint right like pause 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 <laughs> pause 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 but, pause, pause, but pause. it's like but it's like there's, she's saying like yo like oh yeah <laughs> he was rubbing one out and holding me down on the wall <laughs> bitch you can't slap that nigga like yeah. Yeah. Out, yeah like come on man. <laughs> Like, come on, what man. Fuck, come, come. Like, come, come on, on man. Yo. Like, yo, there's no way. That story is Ain't no way. so much bullshit, bro. Yeah, Listen, bro. Listen, at the end of the day, she wants some money. Let's just say yeah. what it is. Let's give it a bean. And you she just needs standing there. They can just rub it without you. just stand there like, Ooh. Like, you know, Ooh. like, come yeah. on, man. <laughs> Literally, bro. Yo, Listen, at least... If you're going to sue somebody, have a good story, man. That was a terrible yeah, story. That's like, like, it just doesn't, logistically, <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Like, like you, and, like, and, I, and I find it hard to believe. Like a nigga like Vin Diesel, yeah. who by the way is a top tier fucking actor. Yeah. Right. Like you're saying that he brought a bunch of girls home that night, but he still wanted to fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> like the story just doesn't make sense. Ching like, Chung, where? He brought a bunch of chicks back, right? And he's fucking Vin Diesel. Okay. <sighs> a list celebrity. Girls are gonna smash him anyway. Yeah, I think he was voted like one of the world's sexiest men in like the early two thousands. Like he's been on the like I don't get it. Like he he's actually like um because a lot of you young boys might not know. Like he was considered like a sex symbol in the early two thousands, guys. Mm -hmm. Right, the dude is like it, it, the girls love him. Right, so he made bald being cool for a lot of people. Pretty much. Yeah. So I'm, I'm like in my head like wait, so you're telling me this dude brought a bunch of chicks back, n none of them want he didn't smash none of them, and then he's over here whacking off to you. You just saw her picture. She's oh, mid as hell. God. Come on, man. Must have been a bad day. Come on, bro. What the fuck? Come on, Ain't man. There's no way, son. There's no fucking way, bro. bro. Yo. Like, because these girls be coming up with... That's the other thing, too, about these fucking Me Too stories. They're so far-fetched. Like, oh, yeah, I was in a dressing room with Trump at this fancy store, and he just, like, pulled me into there and just had sex with me without my consent. Come on, man. Accusations. These are... Like, th th these stories never make sense. And then the girl that, remember the woman that accused Brett Kavanaugh? Yeah, yeah. The doubles triangle in a fucking uh, lake house or some shit. 
Like what? What? Like their stories are always weird. Bro, ain't no celeb like that fucking out here whacking off and to, to you when he could get other bitches, bro. Come how, on, man. How do you actually prove her wrong, though? How do you actually, in this case, just get this dismissed? Can you? Even though it's a false story? I mean, look at it from a... I mean, that's crazy that, that her and her lawyers, that's the best they could come up with. But no, look, look, look at it from a <laughs> logical standpoint. The story itself has so many holes in it. Can you be like, yo, look, judge, listen to me, man. You know, you know this, this is a bullshit, bro. Come on, man. Nigga, look at me, nigga. <laughs> this is a bullshit, man. I want freedom. Get me the fuck out of here, man. It's a bullshit. Yo, man. Uh, listen, Vin Diesel, I believe you, bro. I believe you, dog. Yeah, I just, I just don't, I just don't believe it, man. Like, a where's guy, the evidence? A, a guy Show of his me a celeb, video. A guy is of his stature, mm -hmm. his status, the amount of chicks he got. There's no fucking way, bro. You know what? Is that in the hotel that this happened? Yeah. There should be footage in, of that hotel, like, covering that. 13 years ago? They ain't gonna have that. They won't? They probably upgraded their camera system and shit by then. Oh, yeah, true, probably. But, yeah, bro. Like, it's just like... It's dude, her, her word against his word. Yeah, and I think this is obviously, like, tactical. Like, yo, I'm gonna come in now because he can't really refute anything I'm saying. But luckily, he, he has employees and his sister runs the company, so she can back him up. Listen, she got fired because X, Y, Z. Yeah, because she just sucks. <laughs> Like she literally just sucks. My skills are are being held against me because I feel like I've been tried. Okay, said it before. A lot fired. of women can't take L's, bro. They really can't take L's. And look, let's be real here. Vin Diesel is big, bro. If he's holding you like this, like you, how are you gonna escape? You get no offense. You probably getting gripped. If if it was true, I, I mean, but let's be real here. Now. I, I think well, he's not. Here's the thing. Like he's only like five eight, five nine. Oh, like, yeah, he goes to the gym and shit, but like he's he's so strong though. Yeah, no? of course, but uh, bro, like one hand like this while whacking one off, like there's no way. Like that nigga's probably like focused. You know what I mean? Like he can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, listen, we are all for making sure. <laughs> like you got to be focused, man. If you're a victim, you should be. You can't be holding some chick and then focusing on rubber without too. If you've been wrongfully abused by a man, they should go to jail or. I agree, but in this case, come on, man! Like, is this even real? Yeah, man. But again, what happens to his reputation? They're saying Vin is six. I don't know, man. Yo, yo, you guys, you guys do understand that they be capping about these actors. Heights, that is true, man. though. Yo, they be capping, bro. Meet in person. NBA does it too, and they tell me that because nigga, some of these, yo, bro, they, niggas be saying six foot. You meet them, like, wait, hold on. I'm like, bro, no, no, I'm, I'm six feet. <laughs> <laughs> But shoes on, I am. Yo, um, uh, but yeah, bro, I think that's some bullshit. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird, man. Yeah. But it just, the facts don't line up, man. So this is a very important question, though. How does a man that's been accused of these bullshit allegations counteract this to either get it dismissed or save his reputation and his legacy? How do you do this? You can't, man. You can't, right? You just got to settle. Damn. Or, or keep, like, receipts. Now we have the ability to, like, you know... Keep you know receipts with these girls, mm -hmm. but other than that, like you know, that's the only thing I can tell guys is like keep a receipt, like hey, you had a good time, blah blah. blah. You know, keep record of you hanging out with these girls, and that's really it. Because I know celebrities now. That's I, how Johnny Depp saved himself. And I thought it was too far, but they actually have the girl sign instantly before they even come to into the room, and they've been recorded, either walking into the room or leaving the room, by the security somebody. So there's actual footage of them leaving. Happy or coming in happy? Either way, you're seeing them come in and leave by themselves, clear, clear as day. And they send an NDA before anything happens. I mean, it's a little bit extreme to me, but God damn it. I mean, at this point... Imagine pull out an NDA by, before you smash. Hey, listen. That will kill the mood, man. Yeah, it would kill the mood. But listen. Hey! Precautions have to be made. Before I stick it in, I need you to sign this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, How babe. dare you? You look good and all, but sign this NDA, bitch. Yeah. I need this shit for myself. My safety. But, yo, you never know, bro. You never know. I mean, when you were a list celeb, like, yeah. Yeah, 100%. You think? Because um, I don't consider ourselves. People say, oh, Murray and Fresh, you guys are celebs. Nigga, nah, we bro, no we're celebs, not, bro. bro. We're not. I, I don't consider ourselves celebs. Dude, and our club is not a good club, bro. Yo, <laughs> what chick wants to be with Fresh and Fresh? I just fucked the misogynist podcast co-host. Co -host. <laughs> that was great. It's like, nigga, you <laughs> stay away from me. Nigga, we, we got to play extra game, nigga. You, know what you feel me? Like, this is double work we got to do just to smash. Like, nigga, it's not easy, bro. Come on, man. Cut some slack. <laughs> Anyhow, but... um, Yeah, people say, like, oh, yeah, it must be easy for y'all. Yeah, okay. No, buddy. Yeah, man. No, no not at all, bro. 
It, it's, it's, um, you got an uphill battle. Uphill battle story, basically, yeah. I can't tell you how many times I saw your Instagram. I didn't like it. But the good thing is we keep all our receipts. Yeah. Yeah, Just you got to yeah, you got to keep receipts with but these But you never stores. know. You never know. Yeah, man. So. Um. <laughs> Yeah, we're screwed as men, Somebody bro. said, that's how Chris fucks. He says, I'm the dude from FNF. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 bro. Yo, no cap. He's right. I had to tell Chris, Chris, listen. We go outside, brother. Do not tell people you work for Fresh and Fit. I'll tell you why. It throws them off instantly. I don't think he actually even uses that shit, though. He does, bro. He, I was there. Oh. Bro, he's at a club. Yeah, well, you know, we're, we're, we're for Fresh and Fit. I'm a producer. Oh, uh, 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 I used to be a teacher, too. You know, and the girls be like, "Fresh and fit, ew." <laughs> Ask him. It happens all the time. I'm like, "Bro, why you do that? How dare Let's you?" Let's talk to the first yellow vibe, and then like, "Yo, you know, we we put a YouTube. Oh, you know, YouTube, that's dope." You don't, you don't tell them fresh and fit until after the fact. When you smash, then you tell them. <laughs> 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 this thing we do too early, bro. I'm like, Chris, shut the fuck up, nigga. Uh -huh. And then when he's drunk, at least he don't say shit. He's like, <laughs> so get get him drunk first, and then you're fine. But uh, yeah, that nigga be talking too much, bro. <laughs> yeah, we're for fresh and fit. Shut your ass up, nigga. You're ruining the mood. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. It sucks. I used to want to wing my man with Chris. It's L now. Don't. Oh, man. <sighs> I've seen you guys on TikTok. <laughs> oh, man. That's what you know what time it is. Like, yo, oh, yo, shit. I How almost, dare you? I, I, Here I, we go. Yo, here's funny. For a while, I didn't put F and F in my bio. <laughs> for a while, nigga. I'm like, yo. What do you do for a living? Oh, uh, you know, I just... um. <laughs> I'm a scammer. Forget I'm, about a scammer. I'm, a, I'm a scammer. guy who just makes money and loves scammers. Yeah, you're better man. off saying you're a scammer. Yeah, than literally, that shit. Be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. My, yeah, oh. real talk. Yeah, yeah. No, no. You, you run a successful podcast where you shit on girls? Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah, nah I'm nah, a scammer, nah, bitch. Nah, 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 oh, okay. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Listen, bro. <laughs> hey, man. You better off saying you're a scammer. At the end of the day, man, it is what it is. We help niggas from around the world. So that's what. Scammers what get comes. a lot of girls. They do. Because they be tricking on bitches. And dealers Scammers too, by the be way. the biggest simps, man. Drug dealers and scammers get a lot of girls. They do. Yep. They do. Because they, they literally, like, they, girls get that danger element. They'll and they be her. simping. Yeah. Bro, oh, man. Whatever you know, she wants, she gets. Yeah. Because guess what? It's not his money. It's not his money. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's your money. Yo, he's spending your money. Also, bitches. <laughs> Nigga tricks off uh, with your yeah, money. Also, yeah, yeah, horse, man. Literally, bro. <laughs> oh, man. But, yo, Vin Diesel, man, I don't think he's actually like. Um, <laughs> Nigga pretends to be you and then tricks on your behalf. <laughs> 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 Takes your credit card information that sips with Yo, your info. So verdict, brother. Is Vin Diesel <laughs> guilty or innocent, you think? Just just by allegations so far, we don't know we, we weren't actually there. What do you think happened in that case? Do you, you think he did it? Keeping it a thousand, bro, I, I think he's one hundred percent innocent. Yeah, I don't, now I, and people I, can say Myron, you're biased, blah, blah blah, but it just doesn't me knowing how successful this guy is, how yeah. famous this guy is, how many girls throw themselves at him. The dude was is literally looked at as a sex symbol in the two thousands. Mm -hmm. Like, bruh, there is no fucking way. This nigga's gonna sit here and whack off to his assistant when he could get other girls. Like, it don't make sense. And I just wonder. It don't make sense. Why? And he just had a bunch of chicks over, too. 13 years later. I, I, I'm i all for men being punished for doing fucked up stuff. I 100% agree. Mm -hmm. But why, if it's true what you're saying, or if it even happened that way, why wait 13 years later? That's yeah, the bro. Question Let's see what the chat says. Yo, let's do a poll. Yeah. Let's do a poll on YouTube. We got 7,000 y'all ninjas watching on YouTube, and then we got another about 9K y'all watching. Yo, nigga, say, well, hold on one second, bro. Hold on, hold on. Stop the fucking show. <laughs> Do say that Fresh and Fit fell off. Bro, yo, we pulling the viewers listen, even just bro. on a regular Wednesday, bro. Listen, bro, we are lit, man. And, and here's the thing. Yo, you guys realize if we were on YouTube alone, we'd have well over 10,000 watching right now on YouTube alone. Like, let that sink in real quick. But we got, we're splitting the audience. That's why people say, oh, Fresh and Fit views are down. The views are down because we split the fucking audience. YouTube works like this, guys. The more people are watching your stream, the more people they push to it. The more people they push to it, it's a compounding effect of viewership. So we split our audience. We actually hurt ourselves by doing that. Yeah. But th that's fine because we're like, yo, f you know, we fucking, our rumble's where it's Rumble at. Rumble's where it's at, yeah. You know, but at the same time, we understand that some of y'all like to watch on YouTube, so we give you guys the option. Bro, we would have way more views if we just only streamed on YouTube. And also, if you're going to count numbers towards us fresh and fit, we sell out venues, bro. We sell out actual live shows. We sell out parties. Listen, I dare you. Ask a creator to sell out a venue and see if they can do it. They probably can't. Unless they're Kaiser not, then they can't. But Yeah. Anyhow, so, um, yo, people be talking shit, man, saying we fell off and stuff like that. Our numbers are still super no, strong. Nigga, you fell especially off. Especially with the amount of uh, how we split our audience. Yeah. It's it, fine, it, though. You know, like, bro. It's fine. Anyway. 
Yeah, I just had to say. say that. <laughs> uh, Niggas gonna hate, man. Yeah, it's bro. It's just like it's crazy, man. How people say the shit that they be saying. I'm like in my head, like, wait, no, like what? I think for us, as long as the team is happy, we're having fun doing the show. Yeah, man. We're giving value. That's all that really matters, man. And we're, then, we're bringing in new concepts. You can say we're, what you want, we're bro. switching shit up. Niggas got lie detectors yeah. and sandwich making contests and. Skits and all this other shit. And we're going to be traveling in January. I'm yeah, we're traveling in January. You know what I mean? So, you know, and then we also, like I said before, we got some really, I'm excited about, you know, and I'm glad you guys are patient. Me and Bill's have been working on it. Mm-hmm. You guys are going to really like it. It's going to be, we're going to take IRL stream into a whole new level. I'll just say that. We're going to take IRL stream into a whole new level. We got some new equipment, invested quite a bit of money into it. Um, so... Yeah, we've just been waiting for the right date to, to do it and set it up properly because we want to make sure that when we do it, we do it right the first time. Right. Uh, but I'm really fucking excited, man. So, we, bro, we're the innovators over here, man. We really are the pioneers. We're the innovators. You know, we innovate. They imitate. That's just how it goes. Um, what, uh, Some more chats here? The, yeah. Tess, hi, chat. Big Mo, B-T- B-I-T-W. Shout out to well, you. Mo. Uh, 